When it comes to mid-range devices, Qualcomm has a large market share with its kind of its uh, 600 Snapdragon 600 series and its Snapdragon 400 series. However, Samsung have now released a new Exynos processor, the Exynos 7872, which is directly aimed at devices in the mid-range. In fact, it features in the new uh, Miezu handset that was released recently. So the question is, what is the Exynos 7872 and how does it work? Well, please, let me explain. So of course, we often get excited and are very enthusiastic about the latest flagship processors that come out. We're looking at the performance, we're looking at the GPUs and all that kind of thing. But actually, a lot of people don't buy flagship devices. They buy mid-range devices. And so the quality and the performance of processors in the mid-range is vitally important to many, many consumers. And to that end, Samsung have released the Exynos 7872. So what is it? Well, it's a 64-bit processor, but it's not an octa-core processor as we're very familiar with this is a hexacore processor now why have they gone with a hexacore setup well in the low end there are four energy efficient cortex a53 processors and the cortex a53 is what we find across so many processors even in an octa-core configuration as just all eight of them or as part of a, a big dot little configuration now that's fine and that's great and it's a very reliable and very efficient processor now normally in the mid-range there might be another four of those clocked at maybe a higher clock rate and that kind of gives you that mid-range processor but actually what Exynos have done Samsung have done this time in the Exynos is that there are two so it's a hexacore setup there are two Cortex A73 processors and the Cortex A73 is a good fast processor and what they've done is they've sacrificed the space of those four cores and put in their two much higher performing cores now what that means to the average consumer is that the user interface will feel much more fluid downloading web pages will feel much more fluid anything that is kind of single task content concentrating will feel much faster and of course there will be situations where all six cores are firing off doing their work and even those will feel very fast now why the cpu is actually quite an exciting setup hexacore with two of those a73 cores on the gpu side we have a very good gpu in the sense that it's the mali g71 which is an excellent gpu however this only has one gpu core now if you compare that to a, a high-end device i mean the last uh, Exynos uh, processor uh, had 18 G72 or 20 from the G71, 20 cores, and this has one core. So that's a huge difference to what you get at the flagship end. And we really will have to see what the gaming performance is like when this is actually uh, put to the test. Other things worth mentioning, it's built on a 14 nanometer fabrication process. It uses uh, low power DDR3 RAM, so that's going to be a bit slower. It doesn't support dual camera, only supports single camera at 21 uh, megapixels, but it can do full HD recording uh, in H.265 and H.264. It's also got a 300 megabits a second LTE 4G modem and I've got Bluetooth 5 built into it. Now the main competitor to the 7872 is the Snapdragon 650. It's also a hexacore setup, but at the high end it's got the Cortex A72 cores, not the Cortex A73. So from that we can say that the 7872 is definitely going to be faster than the Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon 650. However, the 650 does have a couple of advantages. For example, it can do 4K recording, which the 7872 can't. And of course, Qualcomm also have another couple of other iterations in the 650 line. There's the 652 and the 653, which actually have got octa-core setups with four high-performance cores rather than just the two that you find in the hexa-core setup. So it will be interesting to see when these kind of devices are compared side by side, which one comes out on top. I'm really hoping that single core GPU is not going to be a letdown for the 7872. I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the Exynos 7872 for the mid-range. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority's YouTube channel. And last but not least, do go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.